improve this trig identity. The left's like the right. So to do this, what we're going to do is, well, there's a bunch of ways we can go about doing this. Probably the easiest way is to multiply at the top by its conjugate, cosine of theta minus 1. So we end up with cosine squared theta minus 1. We're multiplying cosine theta plus 1 times cosine theta minus 1. Middle terms cancel out. And on the bottom, we have sine theta times cosine theta minus 1. All right. All right, so um, what we can do is we can factor out a negative 1 on top there. So we end up with uh, 1 minus cosine squared theta. And that's a trig identity. If you look up here, we can convert this to sine squared because 1 minus cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared. And then we get a negative sine squared theta over our sine theta times cosine theta minus 1. So this cancels out one of the squared. So we end up with negative sine theta over cosine theta minus 1. And what we can do here, we're doing all this to make this look like what's on the right side. We end up with negative 1 over cosine theta. We can put this on the bottom, sine theta minus 1 over sine theta. Because this is just the same thing, if you were to divide by this, you multiply it by the reciprocal, and you get sine on top again. So this is the same thing as cotangent, and this is the cosecant, but this negative 1 distributes these, or cancels out these signs, so we end up with 1 over cosecant theta minus cotangent theta. And that's it. All right. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video. See you next time.